Uh, let's match the max interval. We get 24 divided by 6 plus 3 times 1 equals 7. Beautiful, dude. All right, we have multiplication, which is a little scary. It is equal to a single digit number, so we're definitely going to need subtraction in here to make this number smaller. Uh, I mean, 3 times 6 is pretty small. I could even probably do like 3 times 6 times 5. That would be 90. No, that's not going to work. That's too big. Uh, but I could do like... I could do like 3 times 9 and then just subtract a bunch of stuff. Let's just do that. Let's just do 3 times 9 minus 8 is... Now we're at 19 minus... Just seeing how this lays out. Maybe I could square something somewhere along the line. So maybe I could make this bigger out here or something. 6 times 9 is 54 minus 8. I gotta get a 3 involved here. So minus 3 is 51 and then... Okay, that's not going to work for a single digit number. 6 times 8 is 48. I mean, I could do like 6 times 5 minus 3 is... That's not going to work either. Uh, I want to do 5 squared is kind of what I'm thinking. Because that's 25 and stays pretty small. Or I could do 6 squared and subtract 36. 8 squared is 64. 6 times 5... It's like whatever whatever number I use to multiply here is like the number that wants to be squared. Six times three minus three minus three squared equals six, probably. Uh, I don't know. I guess I guess that's probably gonna place something, and it could be the answer. Eighteen minus twelve is six. Yeah. Okay. Could have been. Could have been. We don't have two subtraction signs. We do have two multiplication signs. No. Uh-oh. Wait, a multi... Multiplication now has to go here. Wait a second. Maybe it's 6 squared... Wow, wait a second. This is weird. What is the structure of this? I can't be multiplying two double-digit numbers here. That's not possible. It's got to be parentheses? Yeah. Oh, it just equals 0. So this could be any number. Ugh, this is stupid, dude. It's going to be like... Uh, I, I could put. I need to put a bunch of numbers in because it's going to be. I'm multiplying by zero. I'm multiplying by three. To, three minus three. So the whole thing equals zero. And I just have to figure out what number. It's either a number or a cube that goes here. So I. Pr I might as well just try to put all of the numbers and the cube in if I can. I should probably put a zero there. So let's go fifty. I could just. I could just do a bunch of stuff and then just multiply by zero at the end. Uh, times. 8 times, whatever, times 0. Oh, I could just do 509. 509 and then cube to 0. Because I want to see if there's a 0 there specifically. Yeah, this is good. Did I use all the, I did, I used all the numbers. It's 65. 65 times, times 3 minus 3. This is a stupid equation, dude. Multiplying by zero, multiplying by one is just kind of lame. Just like there's no math involved. Um, don't like these, you know, when this happens, but that's a maxi interval. I got in, what, four? Whatever. There it is. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.